patriarchs of the Old Testament, those men of Genesis, the men of faith who help us to see Jesus. We've talked about seven different of those patriarchs from all the way from Adam and the first man in the book of Genesis to Joseph, sort of the place where Genesis ends. But there's one final person in Genesis, one final patriarch that we ought to talk about. One more that helps us to see Jesus even better than Joseph. In this episode, we take a look at Judah. Jesus comes not from the line of Joseph, not from the favorite son of Israel like you might expect, but he comes from the tribe of Judah. Because as much as Jesus is about overcoming death, as much as Jesus is about conquering evil and and defeating death and the devil and winning victory over all of these things, he's more than just Joseph. He's more than just his resurrection. He's Judah. He's like Judah. We see Judah as he offers himself in the place of Benjamin, the other favorite son of of Israel, when they are tested, when the brothers are tested and, and Joseph demands that Benjamin come back to Egypt with them, their father doesn't want to let him go because he's afraid he won't come back. Judah offers himself. Judah offers to take on any evil that would befall Benjamin upon himself so that Benjamin might be saved. He swears. He puts his life on the line for Benjamin. Takes an oath to his father so that Benjamin is safe. And when Benjamin is caught, when he is found red-handed as stealing the Joseph's cup, even though he didn't really steal it. When Benjamin is going to be enslaved, Judah offers himself in his place as a substitute, as a vicarious atonement for Benjamin. That is who Jesus is. Jesus comes not just to defeat and overcome and put to death death and and overcome the devil and the grave, but he comes for you. The most important thing that Jesus is, is yours. Your Savior, on your behalf, in your place, he suffers for you, that you might be saved, that you might have life, that you might live with the Father for eternity.